Hello my little pixels and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So where we last left off, um, we hung out with some confidants and we're waiting until the 18th, or sorry, the 19th, to uh, send the calling card to Sai. It appears as though everyone is here. Your requests. Well then, we have some new intel on Memento's target today. This intel is on a man who's been abusing his girlfriend. His name is his name is Uchima Mura. He's a, he's a, he's assaulted her countless times. That fortune teller even predicted she'd be badly hurt if if left alone. Those fortunes often come true. What a jerk! Fortunes aside, we can't let that guy use violence against her. I don't want to get I don't want her getting hurt. We should change her heart. Change his heart. You can count me in. I agree. It's only natural for us to change the heart of a person like that. All right. Yep. It's a C rank. This will be easy. This is horrible. Damn it! I gambled away all my money again. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Where is she? Get over here so I can beat you. Don't beat your girlfriend. What? Don't you dare lecture me. She's mine. I can do whatever I want with her. Beating her is a right that only I have. I have. I. I'll have you. I'll have you know she, that she loves it too. She, I don't think she's into BDSM. I hate to say it. If you want, if you want to get in my way, then you're gonna die. <laughs> really? One of them? Okay. This should be quick. I'm gonna punch you too. Oh no! Don't punch me. Thank you. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I just killed him now? <laughs> killed him in one fucking all out. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a perfect way uh. to refill after some training. Oh, he's oh, it's the talkie. By the way, the track team's up and running again. Yamauchi got taken down pretty quick. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? He told her everything. Takeishi's mom has got it going on. After that, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. And as a result, the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. I think they might even go far in the meet. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh crap, the ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat. Slurp. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. To tell the truth, I was scared of facing those guys straight up. I couldn't stand how much they hated me. It only just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. Hey, this ain't like me, but I managed to change because you were here helping me. I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with me till the bitter end. You didn't abandon me. So, thanks, man. <laughs> I want to give a hug. It's all because of you. <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> How'd it end up like this? Either way, it's my turn now. If anything comes up, you tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. I love you, baby. I love you. No homo, but I love you. And this is very special. I am thou. Thy bond thou has If you max a confidant rank with a team member, a second awakening. Alright. Alright. Now we can make Chiyu as well, because the rank max rank. Captain Kid transforms. Oh, 
My new power. All right. Captain Kids. Captain Kid has transformed to Satan Taisei. that off my chest let's do this first up the phantom thieves i'll be counting on you leader and you can count on me too <laughs> hey now that we're all fueled up want to race to the station yep let's do it evade wind obviously let them have that because it's usually evade to one skill that they would normally be uh, weak to. Oh. Oh, Senpai. Oh, Miller Senpai. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Oh, she's speaking. Okay. Would you mind if I joined you for lunch? Of course. Not at all. Thank you. All right, let's head to the roof. You want to go to the roof, eh? Interesting. It's starting to get rather cold, isn't it? Well, it's almost like Christmas, isn't it? Sorry to bring you here. This is something I oughtn't really bring up around other people. Senpai, are you still planning to continue on as the Phantom Thieves? Why do you ask? Lately, I haven't been hearing any positive gossip about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, that. Despite how much people cheered on your cause, even though they knew nothing about you or your friends, all they do now is speak ill of the Phantom Thieves. I know it's not my place to say this, considering I turned down your offer to join and all. But this change in attitude is simply awful. They're doing the exact same thing to you all that they did to me. Yet, you're still going to keep at it? Why, senpai? I have to take care of something. Take care of something? Mm-hmm. Mm. I see. Yeah. But don't worry about us. There isn't even a one in a million chance that my Phantom Thieves could ever lose. I see. Well, I won't stop you. However, could I ask a favor? Or rather, could you promise me something? What is it? Once things settle down, I'd like you to join me somewhere so we can go have some fun together. I promise. Then it's a deal. I'm already beginning to look forward to it. So, please be careful out there. Of course, I will be. Oh. But, I plan to keep my other promise I made with you about the physical training. Tomorrow. Is that too sudden? Maybe we should train the day after tomorrow then? Um... Uh, but that day's when... Maybe another time. I have... Mm. I see. Mm. Oh, I haven't eaten yet! Come on, senpai. You need to eat, too. No one wins a fight on an empty stomach, you know. Oh, Maruki. Ah. Oh, Maruki. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? I'm free for lunch. Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you. Since it'll be our last chance to do so here. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. Yeah, everyone's sad. I do about have it. a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you. So you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. I'm fucking depressed right now. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. Yeah. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. Hmm. And finally, we would like Dr. Maruki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, doctor, if you will. 
Please tell me he's gonna bend down and hit it again. Good morning, everyone. As the vice principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I have come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies. In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. Um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. He did it. He's leaving the way he came in. Hitting the mic. Well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss you so much. I feel like her. I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Yeah. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise, anyhow. Let's see what he has for us. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. Mm. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I order the deluxe bowls for us. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. All right, let's eat. There are no words for how delicious this smells. Ooh, this aroma's really <laughs> triggered my appetite. His glasses. Too bad I can't see anything now. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. Oh? My paper's done. <gasps> Congratulations. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. Uh, how do you know that? There's no need to be obtuse. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? It says, Interpreting reality through cognitive science and an alteration of reality via external influence. You know, the phantom thief's act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target, a reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of heart you induce in your targets. You really know your stuff. Well, I did pour my heart and soul into this research for a number of years. To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April. When I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students, I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality, like I'd mentioned. When? You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school, 
I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you? Takamaki-san appear to be extremely exhausted. Oh, that. Thanks. That was a long time ago. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Why'd you keep quiet? Hmm. Well... I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition, so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? Well, we made a deal. <clears throat> deal, eh? Well, I'm awfully grateful you see it that way. And just so you know, I have no intention of telling anyone about this. Thank you. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Won't be necessary. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear, I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Mm-hmm. We all define justice differently. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Can I get a handshake? Although it's not yes. like this is the last time we'll see one another. Still, thank you for everything up to this point. I am thy boss. Thou hast a... Wakefulness. Raises the SP recover from mindfulness. All right. All right. Vohu Manan. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. I want to give him a hug. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again, though, right? I'm sure of it. That's right. Hey. Yeah? Always time for a snack? No, it's nothing. Best of luck oh. to the both of us. See you around. <laughs> Boss said he reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. Oh, the beans are gonna be all gone. Ain't this place always empty, though? <laughs> wow. I'm telling boss. Huh? Everyone here is a witness. And you have tappers for this. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Sai San's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. Yeah. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method. No matter what she asks, I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader. 
So this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? I trust her. Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. That is true. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yep, got it. Same as always. Mm -hmm. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Excellent. Okay. Tomorrow's finally the day. All that's left is to carry out the operation that Makoto outlined earlier. Anyway. Now we just need to hang it over as long as we can get it to Nijima. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense! They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them! Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Uh, oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. And we don't even have to say it, you know it. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Mm. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis! I'm on your side! I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? Oh... No, of course not! Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Hmm. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, and hey, wanna subscribe, help channel grow. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!